because Dripnami just dropped, I thought it would be a good idea to make a drip only challenge. So basically, the only two drip units right now are Dripnami, which is right here, and then Drip Gohan. So I am bringing a farm along with me, so I'm actually able to complete the challenge. But basically, we're just going to be playing a run of infinite mode to see if I'm actually able to get anywhere high in infinite mode. So make sure to subscribe because we're trying to hit 2.5k subscribers so I can get my new code unit, Raditz. Now let's get on to the video. Alright, we're here in Hollow Dimension, which fun fact, before this map was changed, it used to be the biggest map. I'm pretty sure it's the smallest map now, but it used to be the biggest. So a lot has changed in ALS over the past couple of years. I don't know why I said years. The game's been out for like they've been in development for like maybe a year. Okay, so go on kinda sucks. Alright, I'm finally done with farming I think. Yeah, okay, so now we can actually work on upgrading our units. We got our first Gohan drip maxed out, so I guess it's time to upgrade Nami. Now our first Nami is maxed out, so things are looking pretty good. Alright, now literally all of our Gohans are maxed. So we won't have to be dealing with these guys for a while. Oh, so I'm going to start placing my Namis more in the back. So we have some units to deal with the later enemies. Oh, so I do think Nami's a stun unit, which will help us out a lot. Alright, now all of my Namis are max, so we basically just have to wait and see how far we go. I'm thinking about it right now, and Nami's actually like a really, really good code unit. It doesn't do that much damage, and its overall DPS is just pretty low. But it's literally a free hill unit, and people have been complaining about how hard it is to get good hill units, and it's a stun. So this is a free, usable hill unit. Like, this is an actual usable unit for infinite mode and story mode because it's a stun. And I mean, Drip Gohan, he's alright. He's a lot more high quality than uh, Nami, but his stats just aren't that good does less damage than Nami, and it's a ground unit, but I do think it's a DPS is a tiny bit higher than Nami's because it has significantly lower SPA. But that actually might be wrong, because I just now realized my Drip Gohan is level 13, my Drip Nami is level 1, because I just got Drip Nami. So I think Gohan might just be worse in every single way, shape, and form. Not to mention, once again, Nami is a stun, uh, I don't think Trip Gohan has like any effect whatsoever. I think it's just a, an attacking unit with 846 damage. We need 2x speed. This is taking way too long. It's literally 12 a.m. Also, sorry if there's a lot of cuts and it's hurting your guys' eyes. Because ALS Infinite Mode is just so boring right now. There's no 2x speed, so it takes forever. And it's not balanced to a fact where it doesn't get hard for such a long time. It's easy for like forever. I literally got so bored that I just started staring at my Roblox avatar dancing. I will say this Trip Gohan's model does look pretty good. No complaints. I think the aura does complement it a lot though. The model itself, it's alright. But I think the aura is just really, really nice. I hope there's no one good in summon right now and I'm gonna miss them. I'm just thinking, like, by the time they actually get past Gohan, then they'll have to do a deal with Nami, who's, like, two times better than Gohan. So this is just gonna take forever, bro. The crazy thing is, these are, like, two irrelevant as hell units. Like, nobody is gonna use these, bro. I feel like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan should get buffed. Because, first of all, um, the other code unit we got, what was it, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? is literally meta air for story mode right now. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is absurdly good. I think it's better than like uh, some legendary airs like Uryu and Super Saiyan Goku, but this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is worse than like Super Saiyan 1 Goku and Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta, which is just crazy to me. Oh yeah, here's a cool little secret area over here. It's always been kind of cool. Uh, seen a lot of people getting added in maps they should definitely add me in a future map they even add anything extra to story mode i don't know 
Oh yeah, also, make sure to top the merch. This stuff was actually getting a lot of sales when I first dropped it, but I think it kind of fell off, so you should, uh, you should buy the merch. It's pretty fire, it's pretty fire. You know, it has our old logo. Also, it's Bed Wars based steel, even though I don't play Bed Wars anymore. But I mean, hey, it's still fire. White long sleeve, like, come on, bro. If this was actual merch, like IRL merch, this stuff would look so clean. You get, you'd be getting so many girls at school, bro. I think I might like buy a little hoodie thing for this. I feel like that'd be really cool. Actually, wait, chat, hold on. I literally got so bored that I looked for stuff to combo my merch with in the marketplace. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I think I have 22 Robux in my hand. I think I can cop this right now. I think I might cop this, Chad. I think we're gonna cop this after the video. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, still doing perfectly fine on wave 47. Wait, wait, this might be it. This might be it. No, no, he's, he's getting washed, he's getting washed. Because even, even if they get past Gohan somehow, then it's just gonna solo. Yeah. Thought we had a challenge for a second, Jay. I just now realized all my Gohans are on last. Wait. Are we about to lose? Nope, okay. Oh, we lost! At wave 68, we finally lost. I was I was making a thumbnail. I was making a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> we lost when I was making a thumbnail. We had 2.6 million damage, 1,500 kills. We made it to wave 68. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe so we can get our 2.5 thousand subscriber code unit. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.